We get more energy from the sun in one hour than the human race uses in an entire year. At Morris, there are so many opportunities just laying out there and that students just have to grab on. Our project is the Students Using Natural Energy Project. Um, we're working basically on spreading awareness about the solar thermal panels, how they work, the benefits, etc. The Morris campus has really tried to focus on renewable energy as it relates to our locale. Wind obviously is one of those, biomass is another and solar radiance is the other one that really stand out as being areas that we excel in. Understanding how to use those really is the key to this hybrid kind of approach that Morris uses. There was a hope and a desire to put in some solar thermal panels on our campus to try to heat our recreational pool. And the students got involved through a course in trying to figure out how they could make this happen. From the very beginning of this project, students were engaged with helping to write the grant for the project, and uh, as well as following up for the next year on helping to promote the project, learning about the project, and engaging with the community in the project. Uh, it just follows a history that's happened at UMM of how students have done this work in the past. So for example, one of the very first projects students worked on was just getting wind power to our student center. So this, this project follows in that history of uh, student engagement. The results are, are pretty impressive from the standpoint that the wind turbines uh, produce about 70 percent of our electricity on an annualized basis for this campus. The biomass plant produces about 50 percent of our thermal loads and actually the campus is being cooled today by biomass steam and the BTUs coming from the solar panels take the load off of natural gas burners that would have been used to heat the pool. So the net effect of all of these things is we can reduce our carbon emissions by some 10,000 tons a year by combining these platforms. The solar thermal installation has some, obviously some demonstration benefits uh, for the sake of the students and the rest of us. Just to see something that you can kick the tires and, and, uh, and reach out and touch uh, makes it more real than reading about it in a textbook. And the panels that, that you see here are solar thermal panels, so they're designed to collect heat. There is a water and glycol solution that, that um, runs through these panels. Inside the panel is a bunch of copper absorber plates that are painted a very dark color to absorb heat from the sun. Um, as they heat up, the water rises through these panels and gets warmed from the heat that's collected within the absorber panel, and then that water is pumped into the building. In this case, it travels to a heat exchanger where that heat is then transferred to the water that is being pumped from the swimming pool. We have 32 of them here set up in three different banks, and our rec pool runs between 85, 86 degrees normally. And so these solar panels have a sensor in the top. When that temperature gets up toward 85, it'll bring our pump on inside. We run as high as 140 degrees coming out of them, and even in the winter, it can be below zero, and we'll be coming out of these 110, 115 degrees. Anytime we have sunlight out here, we get enough heat to heat that rec pool. The pool, first of all, is a great asset to the community. The young and old really enjoy the pool, and the fact that we have these solar panels now to heat the pool which is a positive role for the environment and for people's health is a good connection. I feel a little bit like I'm on vacation. It's a great idea. The panels help keep the pool heated, saves them energy. We just come and swim and do our own thing and get together and visit and have a good time. It's just a lot of fun and we have become good friends with each other so it's a social thing for us also. <laughs> See what I mean? It's great, you know, it goes with our initiatives and not many places are doing that. The solar thermal system really is just a great example of how the community and the university works together in a community partnership and that's what our building really was built upon. It's just nice to see that one project can help so many different people. For our students, it is a remarkable opportunity for them to see and touch and feel 
the sorts of environmentally conscious renewable energy products that are out there right now. They come in very enthusiastic about all things environmental. Uh, gradually they come around to pretty sophisticated understandings and the beauty of it really is that they push each other. There's a sort of uh, group enthusiasm that, that uh, really moves the thing forward. Well, there's this very cool class that we took about, um, you know, looking at environmental problems and how policy in America has dealt with those problems and what challenges we need to look at. And so at the end of this class, we actually went around to buildings on campus and took energy audits to see how much energy each building was using and how efficiently they were using that energy and what we could do to preserve the energy. And that research, um, you know, is continuing to be used today and it was it was really cool to be a part of something that was useful and educational and, um, you know, applicable to how we live. I think having that opportunity really grounded what we were learning uh, in practicality mm -hmm. and really made us feel that we weren't just reading lines out of a textbook or listening to PowerPoints. We were actually contributing to campus sustainability. Yeah, I think just the sense of empowerment that we've gotten from this, this school, seeing these initiatives um, pushing these initiatives and then seeing all these people jump on board and helping them get accomplished is really empowering. Another um, big yeah. community outreach that we planned was um, the Solar Swim. We had three big Solar Swim events. Um, we had one directed towards the seniors in the community. We had one um, directed for community members and families. And our big one was for students on campus. Uh, that one attracted almost 80 students and we had great turnouts for the other two events. Solar Swim was a way f to get people into the solar heated swimming pool and by hosting an event with food information and free swimming we were able to get a bunch of people out to the RFC um, experiencing the solar thermal system um, in the pool and um, providing information about how it works and the fact that the system was there. That's what we want to do, is, is we want to work with the community, we want to work with students, and we also want to provide demonstrations. And so this is one of several important demonstrations uh, of how renewable energy technologies work. Well, I think what we're trying to do here in our, in our bigger effort as the SUNY team is to really usher in social change, both among students, the staff and faculty here, as well as the community members in the Morris area, Stevens County. And hopefully we can start serving as an influence to other institutions around the state. They define sustainability as far more than just energy or far more than an academic program. They've taught us to think about sustainability as a commitment to future generations. I feel really proud that um, I can be a part of an atmosphere, a community, a school that really values putting ideas and concepts of sustainability into action and actually seeing results. I think it's very significant and it really helps promote you thinking about uh, sustainability in your everyday life. It's not just something that will stay here in Morris. I mean, there's so many people who come through here and each person will take some of that um, sustainability thinking um, with them. When I look at those panels, I see hope. I see hope for the future by our students being able to see great examples and then take those examples out into decades of their professional work and their life in terms of making good choices. Then I think this particular project is a great example of how students have made a difference on our campus and that will stay for many, many years to come. I'm heartened to the fact that the students who have that experience here on this campus fortunately will be our leaders in the future. And uh, I think by setting a good example here, we, we, we really do give them the basis to change the world in the future.